so this is day three of um, the third day that Creator has dropped. And I feel anxious. Not anxious, but I feel uncertain. Um, you know how, like, you're right about to hop off the cliff and you purchased <laughs> a set of wings, but you've never used it before. You've never seen anyone use it. And you're about to hop off this fucking cliff. So you don't know, you can't see what's at the bottom. You're either gonna fly or you're gonna fall f face first and crush your entire life in a matter of seconds and die. And that's it. So I'm at that point right now. Um, three days in. I've realized whenever you create something, whenever you're you're an artist, you gotta be everything. You gotta be your own fucking manager, you gotta be your own salesman, you gotta be your own marketer, you gotta be your own everything, okay? Your own publicist, your own branding expert or whatever the fuck, okay? God damn it, yo, I'm a god. Yo, as soon as I said that, it glitched. This has been the most courageous act I could have ever possibly done. At this moment. Understand the magnitude Understand that I am in a space where there is no other artist like me because there's only me. I'm in a space where I just released some music that is possibly, arguably, the best thing out there at this moment in time. Who? Who's better? Kendrick just dropped a track last night called Pray For Me. Feature in the weekend, I listen to it and it sounds like generic bullshit, yo. And please, please, there's gonna be a come a there's gonna come a time where I'm gonna be everywhere. In this video, people are gonna watch it like, oh, he's talking shit. Like, no, I have an opinion, and I back it up with my power. You feel me? I'm sick of the same old bullshit, and it's not, and when I say same old bullshit, I'm not talking specifically about his song, but I'm talking about this music, these waves that everybody is fucking riding, it's like, all these rappers, all these artists are like dick riders, and all they care about is bread, dude, they look to the left, and they look to the right, and they say, yo, what's popping right now, how the fuck can I, yo, how the fuck can I be put on, yo? Yeah, I get it, yo, this is the state, so you gotta, the only way to fucking make it is if you fucking hustle, but god damn it, yo. Stay true to your art, stay true to your craft, stay true to your goddamn self, stop trying to fucking be everyone else. Fuck that. Yo, I went into that space. And when you try to be everyone else, it's like you're coming from a very insecure state of mind, yo. You start to undervalue yourself. And when we all know any salesman out there, yo, if you don't value yourself, dog, you ain't going to get the sell. You ain't going to get the sell. And you lose control of the actual conversation between you and your buyer. Because the buyer will, his their confidence will rise higher than yours. And they can choose the price. And they can choose. They have all the power. They have all the control. And they could choose whether or not to walk. Yo, with that being said, you know how many fucking deals I turned down? Hmm? That I walked away with because it didn't feel right with me? Hmm? Talk about, like, putting all my eggs in one fucking basket. You take all the rights and everything like that. As if it's not, it's not plenty of deals out there. Huh? What the fuck do you think you are, huh? Hmm? 
my biggest thing, as I'm fucking recording this video, I'm looking dead at myself. I'm looking at my reflection. So I'm not speaking to these people. I'm not speaking to anybody who's watching this. I'm speaking to my fucking self. And you just witness it. And you're observing this this path to legacy, this this journey to the highest point that I could possibly get. This is the climb. Like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, I get the balance between work and play, but yo, I'm at this point where, yo, I'm not going to be happy until I finally fulfill every single dream that I have, every single creation that's just yearning to be put into the spotlight, that's just yearning to be seen in its tr truest, purest, purest. And even when someone says, yo, congratulations, or yo, good job, I'm just going to be like, good job, really? I'm not done. I'm not an old man. I got years ahead of me. I got generations ahead of me. Every single f fucking move I do, I don't do it for myself. I'm doing it for the generations to come. So almost tell me good job. Don't ever fucking say good job. Because if you fucking say good job to me, I'm basically a slave. We already fucking know that the 9 to 5 is slavery, nigga. We already fucking know that shit. Y'all niggas got it all fucked up that, yo, go to school, yo, learn this, learn that, so you can get a nice fucking job. Like, listen, I understand the structure, I understand the consistency that comes with having a job. Yeah, that's cool, and that could be implemented into your own fucking business if you know how to fucking do it. And if you have the right team. But nigga, a boss is simply a fucking master, dog. That's why, yo, when I run my fucking business, because right now, yo, I'm on my Black Panther shit. I'm not going to say Lone Wolf because we already know what the fuck that means, nigga. Snipers and shit like that. I'm not going to say Lone Wolf. I'm on my Black Panther shit. But there's going to come a time when I have to work with everybody. You feel me? I'm only going to work with people who are independent and they work for the guy themselves. I only work with bosses. I'm not going to have any employees. Fuck that. I don't want any employees. You feel me? Because if I have employees, what, what difference am I than the next person? I'll have apprentices that I know one day is going to replace me. But I ain't going to have no employee. Everyone who I fucking work with, you got to be on your own shit. You got to be independent and you got to be running your own fucking shit. So it could be on some Avengers shit, you feel me? On some like Justice League shit, nigga. Superheroes unite. So day three. Trinity, the third Jedi, this is where the magic happens, listen, some people say, yo, whenever you release something, make as much noise as possible so you can get that spark, but I'm going to tell you something else, I'm a slow fuse, baby, watch. Watch.